Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed a sort of like glam, but not full, full glam, but still kind of glam makeup look for you. It's kind of like a pinky mauvey ting going on. I feel like it's kind of giving me Valentine's vibes, but I feel like it might be too early for Valentine's Day. I mean, to be honest, Valentine's Day isn't really my time of the year anyway. I'm always just at home doing nothing. Fun and fresh. My nose ain't glowing enough to see. Yeah, but if you want to know how to do this makeup look, then just keep on watching because that's what today's video is. Before I let you watch it, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you are new here, turn on my post notification bell as well that we don't miss any of my uploads but yeah without further ado if you want to see how to get this makeup look just keep on watching let's go my beauty blender is not damp and i don't know where it is oh no this is already a bit of a shit show okay guys so i put a poll up on my instagram asking if you guys wanted a natural or glam look and it is literally dead on 50 50 so i'm gonna start off with my skin and see if the polls have changed by the time i get to my eyes but yeah i'm gonna just prime it with this Too faced hangover x primer it's the best thing ever okay guys so now my face is all primed i'm gonna mix together two foundations to switch up my skin routine I know this one is so dark. I bought the wrong shade <laughs> They only had like seven shades or something um, And I had no clue which one would match my fake tan because it's really easy to mess up Obviously when there's only seven shades. This is the shade tan and normally my foundations are sort of like similar shade names So I thought yeah, we fine. It's way too dark Like this is like actually bad how dark this is I'm gonna mix it together with this Fenty Beauty because this is a bit light for me So it sort of balances it out. But yeah, I don't know why brands still do like seven shades for foundation That was the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter by the way, I think is what it's called. I don't know if they do more or maybe that was just the amount of shades were on the website that I bought it from, but I don't know, it was weird. I mean, this is more of like a natural sort of finish foundation. Like, it's not very full coverage. It is definitely pretty, though, when you mix them together. I've got a spot on my forehead, and I never get spots on my forehead. I think that's from my expired makeup video. I am not going to lie. I feel like I want to do a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial, but then I don't know if it's too early yet. So that is my foundation on my face. I went to the gym earlier today, guys, as well. So if I seem tired, that is probably why. So I'm now going in my Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. This one's in the shade Almond. They were out of vanilla and this was the most similar shade that I could find. That under my eyes, forehead, chin, oh, and there. Can't forget about my lovely moustache. Yeah, I'm going in with my RCMA cream contour thing. Well, it's not actually cream contour, it's a foundation palette. I'm just going to use my beauty blender with it. I'm going to tap it on. I don't actually use that much product for my contour. I just naturally do actually have quite high cheekbones. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and blend up my under eye concealer now. I've gotten back into using the beauty blender. I was using my Morphe sponge for a long time, but nothing does really compare to this. The black one's my favorite. For it. It's a little bit more squidgy. I feel like these videos could get so much litter if YouTube didn't have a really annoying copyright thing. At YouTube. Fix your sale. Oh yeah, also I was wearing mascara when I started this video because I had some on and I couldn't be asked to take it off. So uh, sorry if you got triggered by my mascara. I might actually make this a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. Like a sort of soft glam pretty thing. But it's like mid-January. I feel like that's fine. I don't know. Also, I don't even like Valentine's Day. Like it's not really my ting. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this Valentine's Day is gonna be another year of just me chilling by myself but that's fine that's fun and fresh so i'm just gonna use some of my laura mercier loose setting powder and i'm gonna bake my face Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyes now. Let's see what the poll says. Do you guys want natural or glam? Oh, and it is still 50-50. So basically I can do whatever I want. I have bought down so many palettes. I don't know which one I wanna use, so. Yay. I wanna do like a soft glam pinky kind of thing. I'm gonna try and stick to these two, which is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold and the Norvina palette. But I don't know. I am going to start off with the Rose Gold Remastered palette. I'm gonna go in with the shade Demure, which is this one right here. And I might mix it with the tiniest bit of doll face, which is like the bright pink shade but literally one tap of that I'll just start blending it through my crease i really want some water i'm so thirsty yeah i could die Right, one minute, I'm gonna grab a bottle of water and then be back. I literally just went to grab my bottle of water and look how much of it I've already drank. Where did I put my brush? This is not what I want. This is not what I planned. This is not what I want. This is not what I planned. So I'm just mixing together those two shades again. And I'm just super lightly taking that through my crease. And we're also gonna take this into the outer corner. Who the bloody hell is ringing on the door? I'm just gonna take the doll face shade and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of risque, which is this one right here. Not through my crease, I'm taking that more in my, like, my outer corner. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Pink Diamond, which is this one right here. It's so pretty. I'm gonna take that onto my eyelid. 
I might take a little bit of this wild child shade, which is this sort of like light pink thing just over the top of it. I defo prefer it before I did that. Oh well. I'm gonna go back in with the shade Demure and sort of take this along my eyelid. I'm gonna mix together Risky with the little black shade, like the tiniest bit of the black. And I'm gonna start like blending that along my lash line and into the outer corner. I'm gonna go with a little bit of the Coco shade, which is like a deep brown. I'm gonna go in with just the tiniest bit of the black just by itself on this M506 by Morphe and I'm just really gonna define my outer corner. I'm going in with a little bit of the rose gold shade. Right, I think that is basically done. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye off camera. I might stick on some lashes and maybe do a wing liner as well. I'm not sure, but you guys will see it when I come back. Yeah. So after I um did this, like, let's be honest, quite glam makeup look. Check the Instagram poll, and now everyone's saying they want a natural look. Sorry, guys. But this is what's on my face now. I'm just gonna go in with some eyeliner in my waterline. I mean, tight line, whatever this thing is. Yeah, I did some winged eyeliner. I also did my brow, and I did stick on some lashes, but they're just little individual lashes so not that deep i am gonna go in with some bronzer now bronzy bronzy bronzer little bit of bronzer i don't know what is like me in such a weird mood today but oh well going in with my m530 brush cheekbones i don't know what to talk about i don't know why i'm being so anti today oh hello Right, I'm gonna go back in with this Huda Beauty palette and take the shade Demure under my eyes. Going in with Doll Face, which is like the bright pink one. And I'm going in with Black Truffle and Risque on the outer corner. Oh bloody hell, I took that a bit far down, didn't I? I might actually take a little bit of the lid shade, Pink Diamond, like underneath. Right there, just to sort of give it a little, a little vavavoom. Give it a little hi, I'm here moment, you know what I mean. Bloody hell, do you want to shut up, aeroplane? That's definitely a fat air bus, that was so noisy. I am going in with my James Charles palette because I can't find my blush, so I'm just going to take the one that he says can be used as like a blush. You use a little bit of it, and I'm just going to take it like tiniest bit over my nose. I quite like the blush nose trend, I just hate it when people do like intense, intense, intense blush nose. You know what I'm talking about, where it literally just looks stupid. I'm going to take some of this setting spray. Well, it's not setting spray, it's fixed plus, but I'm just going to put it all over my face. Okay, I'm going to grab my highlighter. I might actually use Everglow today to change it up a little bit. So I'm going to take the medium shade in the Everglow uh, highlighter by Nikki Tutorials and Ofra. And I'm going back in with my blush on just to blend it all together. Then I'm just going to highlight my forehead low. Guff up my eyebrows while I'm at it. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the shade Body Yoddy Yoddy from Sub Zero, which is like a dark highlight shade. And I like to use that to sort of like make me glow. Right, I'm going to go ahead and highlight my nose. Guys, I am actually such a mess today and I don't know why, but subscribe for more quality content. I have not been checking if I'm in frame this whole time either. So if I've been out of frame the whole video, I'm going to be so irritated. And then I'm going to take a little bit of makeup it in the inner corner of my eye and I just sort of like to stamp it on and then like bring it down for the inner corner. I am going to do my lips. I'm gonna apply some Jeffree Star lip scrub. Oh that does not look pretty. Mm, yummy. So I'm just gonna apply some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Amber. That does not match this eye look one bit. I'm going in with a little bit of undressed. No it needs to be more pinky. Wipe it off. Okay I'm going in with Cream Cup by MAC. Going over the top of it with a little bit of taupe. Cute, lips done. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, you know what to do. Remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you are new here, turn on the post notification bell as well. That way you don't miss any of my uploads. I also did my hair. What do you guys think of it? I don't know. If you want any hair videos, let me know as well. And I'll be more than happy to do that. I don't know if it's too early for a Valentine's look or whether I should call this Valentine's makeup. It's really giving me Valentine's vibes. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of it. I'm kind of living. It's kind of pretty, kind of fun, kind of fresh. Yeah, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, love you. Mwah.